Hey guys, how's it going? It's Paleo Draw here, and today I'm going to be answering some of your guys' questions that you sent to me. So yeah, it's kind of like a sort of 500 milestone kind of thing I'm doing, I guess. I wasn't necessarily planning to do it because I got 500 subs, but I did it anyway, and that's kind of what it changed into. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Uh, it's it's really cool that uh, I got 500 subs. I mean, that's that's a lot. So you guys sent me some of your questions and I'm pretty excited to answer them. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, the first question is from Tanox Art, and he asks, would you like to do a collab? Also, what is your favorite drumiosaur? Okay, so not really gonna do any collabs at the moment because I'm kind of taking sort of a break from YouTube, as some of you guys know that. I'm still gonna be drawing some, as you can see from what I'm doing right now. So uh, yeah. Not right now, maybe later in the future. I mean, probably later in the future if my channel continues to grow, I'll definitely be open to doing some collabs. I think that would be really cool. He also asked, what is your favorite Dromiosaur? Okay, I would probably have to say a Uteraptor. However, Osteoraptor is pretty cool just because it's kind of like a Spinosaur Velociraptor kind of thing. I mean, not really, you know, but still. But Uteraptor is kind of like the, the ultimate killing machine of Dromaeosaurs and dinosaurs in general. I mean, it's really like the coolest thing. It, yeah, it's it's scary, and I like scary dinosaurs. They're pretty cool. And then the next one is from I saw a pink sheep in Minecraft. He asks, "What made you want to start YouTube? Also, do you plan on drawing any other creatures similar to Siren Head, like SCPs or something?" Uh, so yeah, to answer your first question, I kind of just was kind of bored with doing art and really just sharing it with no, no other people besides my family and close friends and I was thinking you know I think it'd be pretty cool to get some other input and be able to make something cool and share it with the world so yeah that's kind of where it all started I just wanted to get out and do something and as far as like the other creatures similar to Siren Head I definitely do I think it's really cool especially SCPs SCPs are like they're really, really cool. I like. I really like going into the lore. I mean, yeah, I think SCPs are really cool. And I think it'd be really cool if I kind of like designed my own. I've already kind of done that a little bit. But uh, yeah, I think it'd be really cool. I probably will sometime in the future. Definitely. Definitely will be interested in something like that. Next question is from Mighty R. One Mighty R. Also known as Mighty. Oh, that was a lot of names. But hey, let's go. Okay. He says... Uh, what made you get into art and do you plan on using your art as a career? What made me get into art in general was just I think it was mostly lame before time when I was really young Like whenever I first watched that I loved the animation and like just the idea of being able to draw dinosaurs and Just the idea of dinosaurs and, and then of course I kind of branched off from that later on once I kind of like got into a little more of my creative side, which is that was pretty awesome but uh, yeah, kind of just Lane Before Time and Jurassic Park definitely inspired me to kind of go into the art career. And as far as what I plan on using it as a career, not, I mean, I mean, yes, I, I, I'm kind of looking into becoming an animator. I think that would be really cool. Um, but yeah, I don't really necessarily have any specific plans yet. I think I'll probably do something like animation and maybe do the paleo art on the side or kind of mix paleo art and animation you know i'm not completely sure yet but i think it'd be really cool to still keep doing paleo art as a hobby uh, next question is from paused pencil and they ask how did you discover you enjoyed making art i mean really just whenever i first made my first art piece which was probably a dinosaur that looked really crappy um and then that eventually turned into what I do now, which is more constructive paleo art and a more thought out process of drawing. But yeah, that's really kind of how it all started. All right, next question, or should I say questions, is from Moonlight Drawings. She asks, uh, what is your favorite sauropod? Honestly, I haven't really thought about that too much. I mean, there's a lot. I mean, if you're counting pro sauropods, I might say Platyosaurus. Probably some kind of Titanosaur, maybe Titanosaurus or a Llamasaurus. Those are, those are really cool. I don't know, I'm really kind of into dinosaurs with osteoderms at the moment, just because I think osteoderms are pretty cool, you know? Uh, they're like armor plating stuff, it's pretty cool. All right, and then she asked, what is my favorite food? Um, 
let's see probably ice cream i don't know i mean like uh, ice cream is unhealthy but like if we're not going based off of how unhealthy it is i would say ice cream for sure also mangoes because mangoes are awesome and then she asks what games do you mostly play i don't really play a lot of games i mean i play a lot of minecraft i mean not daily but just whenever i have free time i kind of play minecraft i also play on the wii i have a wii so that's pretty cool you know play mario kart mario kart's pretty cool and then uh she also asked do you watch anime um i used to watch a few animes when i was younger uh beyblade was one of them also dinosaur king as you can see that's what i'm drawing from right now is uh max and chomp from dinosaur king so yeah and then she also asks, uh, also, did you draw anything other than dinosaurs? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, in some of my other videos, I've drawn creatures from Godzilla. I drew Siren Head pretty recently. Uh, I'm also, of course, as you can see right now, I'm actually drawing a person for the first time in like three years. So that's pretty cool. And then she also asks, what is my favorite animal not dinosaurs? Which is basically, what is my favorite animal that's not a dinosaur? Um... Probably cassowary just because they're so they're so cool. They're like they're honestly kind of like a dinosaur like just look at their feet And it looks like something that you would see in Jurassic Park Like it's really cool and they have like this cool crest on their head not to mention the sounds they make And the next question is from uh, Ahi Manuel and he asks uh, will you ever draw a dinosaur from a pre-fourth view not from the profiler or in any other angle we need to learn i think what he's asking is uh if i'm ever gonna draw using kind of like perspective or uh from different angles and the answer to that is yes i definitely plan to that's actually kind of why i'm going on break is i'm taking a drawing class online called draw a box so I'm, de I'm definitely planning on coming back and doing more perspective work okay next question is from sticky art and he asks favorite dino and what got you into youtube uh so yeah i've already kind of answered the whole got me into youtube so i think i'll go in and skip that but yeah my favorite dinosaur uh as you can see from my logo uh it's ceratosaurus i think they're really cool really cool dinosaurs they're kind of like the underdog in terms of the fact that they shared their environment with allosaurus and torvosaurus and some of the bigger theropods they were definitely kind of the underdogs of their time and uh, yeah, and they're really unique. You know, they have four fingers. They're like one of the two theropods that actually is proven to have osteoderms. And that's really cool. I mean, it just makes it stand out so much more. Last question and certainly not least is from Ben the Hen. That's a very uh, unique username. I like it. Uh, he asks, as a fellow dinosaur artist myself, I was wondering how you record your videos, what you use and how you edit them. Yeah, so how I record my videos, it's really uh, not very uh, technical. I literally just have a stack of bookshelves. I might try to take a picture of it. And I might show it on screen right about now. Uh, yeah, but it's literally just a stack of books, clipboard and uh, weight. And then, you know, I put my phone on it and then it records. But yeah, as far as what I edit, what I use to edit them, I use a software called Shotcut. I just started using Shotcut about three or so months ago. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you made it through the entire piece without getting bored out of your mind, comment your favorite dinosaur in the comments section below. All right, love you guys. You're awesome. Thank you for sticking around with me all these, all these months and two years. You guys are awesome. See you guys. Keep your pencil sharp.